Hello, today I'm going to show you how to build a warm and cozy log cabin. And by log cabin, I mean only the log cabin. Because doing the terrain around it is simply too hard to explain on a tutorial like this. But if you do wish to get the whole schematic or the world download, I do have a Patreon where you can support me as well. Anyways, let's hop on into the tutorial. Here are the resources. Keep in mind that they may vary in quantity, so you'll need more or less sometimes. Here are the dimensions. Make sure to come back if you feel lost during the building in the early stage. Okay, so this part is tricky, so listen closely. The support is two blocks high with a beam in between them. And then on three high, you build a platform. If I were you, I would start one below the supported beam right there. In between the beams, there is four, nine and nine blocks distance. Now proceed to build one block below the platform and use spruce slabs, building a path going to the log cabin. And now this is a technique that some people don't know yet, but you can put trapdoors on the inside or the outside of a block. So to build a zigzag pattern, you have to switch between the two. Watch carefully my character where he puts the trapdoors down. Now we are going to try and recreate how log cabins are built, which means logs stacked on each other. By using some spruce stairs, we can create a bit of depth. We are also going to put some spruce trap doors to cover up the roof later. Since this build is somewhat symmetrical, you can do the same at the other side. Now connect the logs together that you already built on the side. Now this technique is pretty straightforward, you do the same at the front, but we will add a door and two more windows. And at the top we can build a little overhang. Repeat at the back. Also adding some extra support can make the build look more sturdy. This is so far what it should look like. Now place down some deep slate slabs against the spruce trap doors that we already placed. And at the front put down an extra slab, full block, slab, block and continue this pattern. You can see me using deep slate and deep slate bricks. You can switch between them whenever you want. It's not necessary, just an extra detail. You can then connect the full blocks together with moss blocks. I thought adding two chimneys would make it look more spectacular, so I made a big one and a smaller one. You can then repeat the same thing at the other side. Build a support of two blocks high and then five spruce fences up. You can see that we already marked where they should be. Then you can use some deep slate slabs and just build your way up and mossy cobblestone slabs since the moss block doesn't have slabs. Decorate the windows with some fences, fence gates, campfires, barrels and lanterns. Now to make it look like there's ice spikes dripping down, you can use some white stained glass and smooth quartz stairs put upside down. For the full blocks, I use snow blocks and for the slabs, quartz as well. I'm going to do it row by row, so watch carefully. You can also add an extra part to make the big roof less boring. And if it's too hard to follow where exactly I put the things, don't worry as long as you keep some sort of a line where the snow would drip down. So don't make it too chaotic, but rather make patches together. On the other side, we're gonna make some simple window designs again by using some spruce signs, oak trap doors, spruce trap doors, upside down spruce stairs and campfires at the top. And of course, make a little cross in the middle using some dark oak fences and dark oak fence gates. And once again, we're gonna further detail the roof. We can add more flower pots and storage at the front. And on the inside, we're gonna build the windows. Do the same design on the other side as well. You can build a second story until the middle section of the build. I'll now finish off the front, again with some white stained glass. And cover up the roof by using some dark oak stairs. There you go, here's your log cabin. If you build it in a snow biome, it will look pretty good. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to drop a follow if it helped you. And hopefully I can see you the next time.
Goodbye. Thank you.